friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos may god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends by the way today i had planned to do a very beautiful online dating success love story for you guys and i'm sure you are going to enjoy that but don't worry i'm gonna be uploading that next so just stick here <laughs> so guys as i was preparing myself i received a dm on instagram from an african lady i'm not going to mention the country where she is coming from so she told me something that really got me so so angry and so disappointed in her and the person she was telling me about i'm gonna let you know what it is all about next so that is why i decided to cancel everything about that beautiful online dating success love story and share with you today's video which will be things to be careful about if you are looking for a white man for marriage on online dating apps but i'm going to be adding slash even in real life before that i want to talk to you as a sister who truly loves you so much and wants the best for you guys you know me well already that i'm so passionate you know to give you advice guidance on online dating apps and relationships in general i also thank god that i've got enough experience when it comes to online dating when it comes to interracial dating so as a sister who loves you so much i know you who is on online dating apps searching for love i know the struggle is real i know how it feels to see your age mates married with kids happily married whereby you are still single alone you have got everything you're financially stable you've got your job you've got your good business that brings enough income but by your side you miss that man to love you and you love him back this can lead you to be desperate you start feeling like why not me why is that it's not happening so fast you know because <laughs> when you start looking at others and maybe also looking at your age you'll be like till now i am still single i am in my 30s i am in my 40s but i don't have any man on my side you get scared that maybe you will end up single forever and this makes you lack sleep when you come on my channel you see success stories <laughs> guys the intention of sharing with you these online dating success stories is not to make you feel sad or make you feel like why not me no 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 you shouldn't feel like that so guys i just did this to let you know that i know how it feels because at some point in the past i was in your situation yes i lacked sleep <laughs> just like the way i'm telling you i could stay you know in bed and think and think and think when am i going to find that right man that will love me truly due to the disappointments that i went through while dating the men that i dated i think i've told you the whole story of how i really suffered and things were here <laughs> so guys i can put myself in your situation but i am here to tell you that do not worry it's gonna be okay you will find that right man that you are searching for whether on online dating apps or even in real life so having said that this takes me to a comment that i received recently <laughs> of a person who was saying why is that black women think that getting married to a white man is like an achievement my answer to this <laughs> guys when i get a comment like this i be like 
why can't you look at things on a more positive way, on a more positive side? <laughs> yeah, because not all black women think that getting married to a white man is an achievement. Example, me, I don't see it as an achievement because I got married to my husband out of love, nothing else. Because in my past love relationships, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was lacking love. They could cheat on me. They did all sorts, sorts of bad things to me that broke my heart. And I reached at a point, I was like, it's the end. I don't want to ever date anyone. <laughs> but when I got to know my husband, the way he could treat me, the way he could love me, made me love him even the more. And that's why I got married. When you find a black African woman or any black woman married to a white man and tells you it's her achievement, <laughs> that means she married that white man maybe because of money, maybe because of his color. But what I am here to tell you, according to my own experience of ladies that have found love, they are married to white men, even my friends who are married to white men, I can assure you it's not that they see getting married to a white man is an achievement because they got married because of love. And I've been here trying, always insisting that if you're going to get married, get married because of love. Don't get married to a white man because of his color. Don't get married to a white man because he is rich. We have talked about all this, you know, <laughs> in my past videos that I have in this channel. So a comment like that makes me think like, hmm, are you bitter or something? <laughs> Why should you say that? Why should you see a very beautiful success story that I have uploaded here <laughs> to encourage all women out there searching? A lady found love on online dating apps with a white guy and you start being like, it's like she thinks it's an achievement. It's not an achievement and this explains too why I have been making my videos very, very long, tell you things into details of the past love relationship of the ladies that have been sharing their stories to know what happened, what pushed her to join online dating apps and search for a white man. And I can assure you again, 99% of ladies that are married to white men, especially black African ladies, if you ask them, why did you join online dating apps to search for a white man? They will surely tell you that they had very bad, bad, bad relationship experience with black African men. That pushed them to be like, let me try something else. Let me try another race and see what will happen. But to search for love, because that is what they missed and that is what they are looking for. Someone to love them for who they are. So I think I've answered you. Not all black African women, not all black women think that getting married to a white man is an achievement. So guys, I think the intro was really <laughs> long, but let me hope you have learned something from that intro. So without wasting much of your time, let us jump into our today's video, which will be, I repeat, things to be careful about when you are searching for a white man on online dating apps or even in real life. So friends, number one, I'm starting with the reason to why I am here today making this video. I'm talking of the lady who contacted me today on Instagram. Guys, if you are out there searching for a white man for marriage, let it be on online dating apps or even in real life, I advise you to stick to online dating apps, but not all online dating apps, <laughs> no guys, because <laughs> exist dating apps that are there just to scam you, just to make sure you go broke. 
that's why i gave you a very good good advice that you can find love on online dating apps for free just to use the free version of that dating app and chat with men because you will find him 99 percent of the love stories success love stories that i've been sharing here in my channel those ladies found love for free don't let anyone tell you otherwise because on online dating apps, that's where you have got the potential. Someone who is in Africa, let's say you're in Asia, maybe you're in Europe, you're a black African woman or you're a black woman, you are searching for love. On online dating apps, if you go with your eyes wide open, <laughs> looking at things while your eyes are wide open you are going to find that right man so don't listen to anyone that will come to you and see you that maybe you are desperate looking for a white man for marriage start telling you pay me this amount i'm going to connect you to a white man because they're going to eat your money this is according to the experience that i have got helping women that have been scammed loads of money in the name of connections i told you guys here clearly that i don't do connections and it's not that i don't want to do connections no it's because i don't have those men you can see our family is really growing here on youtube so imagine me bella sit here and start telling you i've got seventeen thousand single white men to connect you to i'll be a very big liar it's impossible it's not easy to find a white man that is looking for a black african woman <laughs> to be connected to they know where to find black african women yes we are not in those you know those days whereby people didn't know about online dating apps so if it happens maybe you have a friend you have a sister in the diaspora then comes across that opportunity, yes, they can connect you. But someone telling you to pay so that they connect you, it is only taking advantage of your situation. It is so, so sad. So guys, the lady who contacted me today morning and made me very, very angry and disappointed <laughs> was like, one day was on Facebook and saw a black African woman married to a white man saying that African Bella, me, <laughs> the real talk, helped her find love. So if you want to find love, like the way she found love, African Bella helps people to find love. This is her phone number, contact her. Oh my goodness, the lady went, contacted that lady, they gave her a number, and unfortunately, my Kenyan friends, I'm so, so sorry. So the number she was given is a Kenyan number, contacted African Bella <laughs> on that Kenyan number, and African Bella told her to pay $25 so that she can be connected to a white man. The lady paid, after paying, they gave her a number of a white man, she started chatting with that man, never saw her on a video call, and then the man told her, sent her gifts, a package. She was like, it's okay. Everything was going, going great in their communication. And then <laughs> when the package arrived, they called her, were like, please, you need to pay this amount so that you can take your package. So from there, the lady was like, no, I don't have money to pay. The guy was pressuring her, telling her, pay, 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 pay. <laughs> and that's when she decided to follow me on Instagram because this lady has been watching my videos. So she wrote to me, was like, Bella, I paid this amount of money. And this person told me she is African Bella. So I'm asking if I was chatting with you. <laughs> <laughs> guys I was like what so i have become this famous that people have started stealing your money on my name it is really really sad so i told the lady first of all i don't do connections i've done lots of videos 
telling you guys that I don't do connections. Secondly, I live in Italy. I don't have a Kenyan number. And for people that I have shared my WhatsApp number, they are very, very few, very few guys. I don't give you my WhatsApp number unless there is really a need of exchanging WhatsApp number. If there is no need, we are going to end everything on Instagram. So I am here to tell you all that I don't do connections. If you hear anyone, let's say in Africa, in Europe, saying that I am African Bella, I want to connect you to a white man, don't fall for it. And lastly, guys, stick to online dating apps. That is where you've got lots of chances to find that white man that you are searching for. But also in real life, yes, it can happen. <laughs> you find a white man there, but on online dating apps, oh my God, chances are so, so higher. And some of you misinterpreted me when I say I am helping women find love or when you hear a lady say that African Bella helps me to find love, it's not that I connect to you. It's not that I do like hookups. That's not what I do. Me being here like now, <laughs> telling you that keep searching, use online dating apps for free, giving you tips, I am helping you find love on online dating apps because we have got lots, lots of ladies that have found love on online dating apps just by watching my videos. It's not that I connected them to those white men. No, they did it on their own. I believe you too can do it. Other ladies that I have helped find love on online dating apps is by guiding them through. I know. When you are new to these online dating apps, or even you have been there for so long, if you don't have enough experience, it's so, so hard, you know, to find the one. You can find yourself attracting wrong men on online dating apps. But if you have someone who has got enough experience to guide you through, you are chatting with a guy, she tells you, mm, this guy, <laughs> something is not right because I see a red flag there then you stop, it helps you. It gives you some sort of confidence, you know? You're doing something with lots of confidence because you have someone holding your hand. So those are the only ways I can help you guys find love online. Your sister is always honest with you. Connections, guys, I don't have those white men. I think with this, I am so, so clear. But again, if you don't listen to me, you go pay those people for connections, lose your money. Don't come back to me crying. They have taken my money because <laughs> I don't have any hand in it. If you go and you join wrong dating apps that I've shared already here in my channel, they are there only to scam you. Please don't come back to me. You start crying. I don't have a hand on it. So let's move to number two. Things to be careful about when you are searching for a white man for marriage. Let it be on online dating apps or even in real life. Dear sister, if you want to get married to a white man, you are searching for a white man for marriage on online dating apps. <laughs> especially you ladies that are on online dating apps searching i said this too a white man is just a man just like any other man of any color so don't be scared to ask him questions don't agree to everything that that white man tells you to do just because he's a white guy just because of his color no do not Date that white man the same same way you could date a black African man. Watch all red flags. Show that white man that you know what you are looking for into a man. Because that's all that matters. How the guy treats you. His character. And what exactly you are looking for into a husband not his color at all. Don't agree to things that that white man asks you just because he is a white guy, you'll be like, let me do it. Or don't allow yourself to enter into a relationship with a white guy 
who is already in a complicated situation or some of them they come to you start asking you things like i am looking for the third wife i am looking for a second wife my wife can't have kids so that is why i decided to look for a black african woman i think you'll be a very great match <laughs> a great mother <laughs> Where is love? You are on online dating apps to search for love. <laughs> Not to make kids. <laughs> Not to look for a white man who will only want to have kids from you, but never want anything to do with you. Don't accept to be in a relationship with a white man who doesn't have a job. I told you, interracial relationships are very, very expensive. They need money or... <laughs> If that guy doesn't have enough money, how will he invite you? If that man doesn't have a job, where will he get those documents to invite you? It needs a guy who has got a job, a guy who is financially stable, not a rich guy. So you who is searching for a white man for marriage, don't just look at his color and be like, because he is a white man, even if he doesn't have a job, I'll just be with him. No, dear beautiful ladies, don't even try it to date a guy who doesn't have a job. Just because he is a white guy, I repeat, he is just a man, just like any other man. Some white guys, I know you guys have come across them on online dating apps. You start the conversation, he is into sex talks. I told you guys, when a guy talks about sex, nothing good will ever come out of that relationship that you want to start. You should know this. So don't be just there in Africa example and you're chatting with this white guy, he starts to talk, you'll be like, oh, these people, you know, they are not shy, so maybe it's okay. <laughs> they start telling you, oh, show me this. You do it just because you want to get married to a white man. No, dear sister, I am here to tell you that even white men exist crazy white men, especially on online dating apps. Exist white men who will just enjoy to have that erotic chat with you and that's it, nothing serious. So you see any sex talk in his chats, don't wait, block the guy, move forward. No matter you are looking for a white man, no matter you are desperately <laughs> Wanting to get married to a white man, don't fall for such kind of a white man. This is my advice. I know I've talked about this for you who have been following me for so long, but I am repeating because I see you guys doing same, same things and still you complain not finding any serious guy. If you're wasting your time with these losers, of course, it's gonna take you so, so long. But if you keep canceling them and moving forward, you will find that white man that you are searching for. The right one, you will fall into the right hands, which is what I want, which is why I am here on YouTube helping you out. Thing number three to be very careful about when you are on online dating apps searching for a white man for marriage <laughs> or even in real life, I know on online dating apps exist white guys that are divorced or separated. I told you in the past that it's okay to date a guy who is divorced because things happen in life. We can't punish that guy to get divorced. <laughs> we can't. If things did not work out, it is okay for someone to give himself a second chance in love. That is why he is on online dating apps searching. But what you really need to be very, very careful about, there are some things you need to understand if you're chatting with a guy who is divorced and has got kids. So we take an example, you are a black African woman, you are there in Africa, you don't know how divorces works, let's say here in Europe or in America, Australia, you have no idea at all. <laughs> so your sister is here to guide you a bit and tell you, please, you need to do a research. You need to ask lots of questions 
to this white guy that is divorced with kids and question number one that you really need to ask him that is so so important is the relationship that he has with the ex-wife so guys according to my own experience how i have been seeing things at least here in italy when people get divorced and they have got kids it's not that they become enemies <laughs> like how we are used to back home in africa <laughs> if that guy divorced in africa then that lady should be cut off yes the father will see the kid and everything take care of that kid but a mother being a friend <laughs> To that guy it will never happen if they become friends then there will be fights between the ex-wife and the current wife yes <laughs> even if they're not doing anything wrong but the current wife will be jealousy and be like maybe they are going to get back together or maybe they are going to be cheating on me even if they are not cheating but when it comes to here in europe with these white men for what i have seen if they've got kids together, that woman will always be family and there will be that friendship relationship. I'm not saying all, but the majority. So if you come across a situation like what I am telling you, just remember this video. The ex-wife will never be cut off <laughs> from the family. You should get this into your mind. If there is a birthday party for the kid, the ex-wife will come and your boyfriend or your husband, because <laughs> you are the current, will have to go. If there is a meeting at school, the father and the mother is needed, of course, the ex-wife will go, he will go. If there is like Christmas celebrations, the ex-wife will be invited and if she decides to come, she will come and we'll all be together happily, you know? <laughs> without any fights because when everything ends people decide to divorce that means that love relationship is no longer there it cannot work that is why they chose a divorce even if they had kids so you should ask that white guy who is divorced and has got kids what is the relationship that has remained with the ex-wife so that you know you get prepared <laughs> you don't start being jealousy for nothing <laughs> the next question you need to ask him if he is divorced and with kids you need to know how do they do their co-parenting so that you get to know how many days the kid stays with the dad your boyfriend and how many days they stay with the mother but this question you don't need to ask it at the beginning of your communication no you will ask this question when things you know when things starts to get serious to ask this guy is the relationship between him and the kids because some guys yes they are divorced they have got kids but unfortunately they are not seeing those kids they don't know anything about those kids they are not taking care of those kids some of them have even lost custody over those kids so you need to know if this guy starts telling you i've not seen my kids for five years now you need to understand why because that can be a red flag i know a lady who got married to a guy never asked that question like why did you lose custody over the kids? But after getting married, she came to find out that the guy lost custody of the kids because he was a criminal. Even he was in jail for many, many years. Yes, for that. But she discovered very, very late and started crying. So I am here telling you, ask this do not ignore it if he is not a good father to his kids do you think he will be a good father to your kids that you will make together or maybe you are a single mother he will never be a good father so it's a red flag when you see that you cancel move forward no matter he is a white man and you are searching for a white man number three about dating a white man who is divorced and has got kids this is more into observing him do not ask him this but 
keep your eyes and your ears <laughs> wide open, very, very attentive about his financial situation. Guys, I told you in the past that when a man divorces, especially here in Europe, it's like he takes six steps backward in his life. He has to start afresh. So if you're chatting with this white guy, he is divorced and he is with kids. You need to really observe things very closely on his financial situation so that you don't find yourself chatting with a guy for years and years without meeting or even never meet because maybe this guy is going through a very tough financial situation due to the divorce. Maybe they had loans. He has to pay those loans. Maybe he has to pay the ex-wife. You know, you need to look into all those. Yes, some guys can be paying their ex-wives, can be paying, you know, the kids' maintenance money. They can still be paying the lawyers or they took loan to pay the lawyer for the divorce. But still, they are able to take another woman, maintain her, take care of her. That is why I'm telling you, you just need to observe. When you see a white guy you're chatting to, is in a very tough financial situation no matter how much he tells you he loves you so so much just know that you will only keep on chatting i told you a guy that is serious should go on online dating apps while well prepared knowing that i have to pay the ticket for the lady i have to pay this i have to pay this so that i can be with this woman but if you're chatting with this white guy that is divorced he has got kids then all he tells you is about paying the lawyer paying the loans paying the ex-wife paying the kids <laughs> Complaining all the time, just know you are only wasting your time. He just needs someone to talk to. <laughs> and you are not online to talk to someone only. You want things to go to the next level, you know, fall in love, then get married. So guys, number four, this is specifically to ladies that are on online dating apps searching for that white man for marriage guys i've got this question you keep asking me i've done a video but you keep asking me bella how will i know a white man is seriously looking for love on online dating apps so i am here today to teach you on how to notice a potential partner <laughs> on online dating apps so let's imagine you are on online dating app searching of of course the first thing that you are going to look into is his profile you can notice a serious guy just by going through his profile online so i'm going to be sharing with you just little things but they are very very important that you really need to look into when you go through a white guy's profile on online dating apps number one guys is his description if you see a guy has exaggerated in the way of you know describing himself bragging maybe about how rich he is <laughs> how many countries he has traveled girl just pass move to the next <laughs> yeah and some guys you find that they've got very long 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 description when you see that there is something wrong because a serious guy won't write all those things in his description no he'll just describe himself in a normal way without exaggerating a lot without bragging at all so when you are on online dating apps you are searching for that serious man you are browsing through men's profile you want to send that first message to him send message to guys that have got very normal decent description second about what he is looking for into a woman when you start seeing like i'm looking for a sexy goddess i'm looking for a black african queen guys i appreciate a guy who tells me i am here to search for love 
not concentrating more on a color yes it can be his preference and that's why he is in a dating app where there is lots of black african women but some guys just write that they are looking for a black african woman but in the sense that they are looking for someone submissive or they are looking for someone to treat as a slave you know such kind of weird things when you see those weird things in his profile don't go ahead and write to him a message even if he is a very very cute guy do not just pass move to the next number three a guy can have a very good 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 description what he is looking for into a woman but when you go to his photos oh my goodness <laughs> you will find him in swimming costumes <laughs> Or you find that the head is cut, it is only showing his chest. Or you find this guy, you know, he has put his tongue like this. <laughs> or he's like this, you know, some guys acting weird, acting as women. When you see such kind of photos, dear sister, even if the description is... <laughs> what he is looking for into a woman is pass move to the next when you see he has got photos posing on a very expensive yacht posing on a private jet you know that kind of luxurious life showing off when you see such kind of photos dear sister there is trouble <laughs> don't even write to him that first message i want to tell you a secret maybe you don't know about this on online dating apps, 90% of serious white men on online dating apps are just normal, normal guys, white men, not rich white men. Majority are normal, normal people with normal life. That is why I'm telling you concentrate on a normal profile not an exaggerated one where we go wrong especially you ladies that have been scammed in those dating apps you concentrate more on how the guy looks the way he is showing off his life and you believe <laughs> that's not the reality guys you know this channel is all about the real talk i have to tell you the truth and according to the experience that i've got on online dating apps yes rich men exist but the number is very very small and they don't even show you that they are extremely rich if you remember there is a story i shared here of a ugandan lady who found a very rich rich german guy on online dating apps but that guy never showed her that he was rich those are the kind of rich white guys you can find on online dating apps they won't show you so there is no need for you to concentrate on a very exaggerated profile exaggerated photos of a guy thinking maybe he is rich 90 percent i repeat they are normal people not that they are poor no they wake up every day in the morning go to work you know hustle <laughs> or do business but they are not those tycoons you know <laughs> yeah we are searching for love love first and other things will follow number five guys which is very very important if you are searching for love on online dating apps is to be patient you have seen all the stories that i've shared here those ladies some of them came to me when they had given up thought they will never find love on online dating apps thought it will never work out but i encouraged them kept on encouraging them and eventually they found love you just need to be very patient pray to god believe that yes you will find the one because it is only god that knows when you're gonna find the one but what we are very sure of is that you will find the one even today there is a lady who wrote to me a dm on instagram came to me some time back 
and told me her challenges was really angry disappointed of an online dating apps i talked to her she kept on searching and today returned with good news told me bella i've got three serious men that i'm chatting to i just want to keep on chatting till i choose one that i like the most but this is all thanks to you so i want you to tell all ladies that are still searching to be patient i'm going to be putting her message here or here so that you can see it just be patient and please please do not give up there is no giving up oh. <laughs> this is your year to find the one thank you so much guys for watching this video till now god bless you please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this video i would like to know watch my other videos too they are super super good you've got lots of things to learn from those videos <laughs> yes subscribe please if you have not subscribed join the family thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.